Hey, what's up, network junkies? In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do Wi-Fi captures with Mac OS using Airtool. What's great about Airtool is it doesn't require any additional hardware. It just uses the built-in Wi-Fi adapter. Another great feature of Airtool is it's free. It's one of my favorite applications to capture Wi-Fi frames quickly and easily. You can download the app over at adriangranados.com slash apps slash Airtool. Then just click on this download button where you will then install the application Airtool. You can read a little bit more about Airtool and how it's used and also watch Adrian's videos or presentations from WLAN professionals. So why don't we take a look at it the hard way? Unless you like doing it the hard way with sudo slash system slash library slash private framework slash app. Full 802.11.framework slash versions slash current slash resources slash airport. Whew. EN0 sniff 36. And then type in the password. There you go. We're now capturing frames with my Wi Fi nick. Okay, so now let's do it the easy way. Airtool is accessible through the menu bar at the top here where you can make your selection of what channel or channels you want to capture from. In the preferences, which I'll go to first, here you can limit the capture down to how many bytes, for example, or kilobytes. You can also configure Airtool to not save any of the layer three through seven payload data of the, of the data frame. This is called packet slicing and it's only gonna capture the beginning of the frame and then ditch the rest. Dwell time, channel dwell time can be modified for your needs if you're scanning multiple channels. The Wi-Fi NIC or adapter will stay on a channel, uh, dwell on that channel for about 100 milliseconds before going on to the next one. Now, when a capture is complete, the file can be saved to a location automatically opened in Wireshark, or you can even upload it to a service such as CloudShark or Mojo Packets, which is an advanced feature. These are services that you need an account for. So from the Airtool menu bar at the top, we're going to show you how to select Capture Custom for multiple channels, right? So here's where you configure multiple channels to capture from. You could also select a channel either from the 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz menu items here. And depending on what your Wi-Fi adapter capabilities are, you can select 20 megahertz, 40 or 80 megahertz channel width. Now I'm gonna select on my channel that I'm currently on channel 149, 40 megahertz channel width and click on capture. And as you can see, it's collecting frames and you can see how much uh, how, how large that file is becoming. When you're done, you click on stop, and then you can go to where the file is saved. There it is, it's got a default name with a timestamp of when it was created. Double click on that file to now analyze that Wi-Fi capture within Wireshark. So there you have it, that's how you easily capture Wi-Fi frames with Airtool for Mac OS. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.